morning, everyone. The ones which are the loudest, the training team over there. <laughs> this is the last day of your governor training. Made it, nearly. After all we learned this week, do you feel ready to be a really good governor? Well, I hear this little voice that whispers, how can I communicate everything Rotary wants me to communicate? How can I do it and still be myself? Most important of all, how can I communicate with a strategy? We are all comfortable talking about Rotary in our own way. But when we talk as governors to fellow Rotarians, we're all busy with their own lives. How can we do it in a way that inspires listeners to action and not just nods of approval and agreement? To be a good strategic communicator, you need a plan. You've heard that a lot. And messages to support that plan, which you're writing, and the discipline to stick to that plan. And that's not easy. None of us want to sound like a robot, repeating always the same words until they sound hollow. But let's first talk about where we communicate. Because if you don't get the channel right, every message will fail. It used to be simple to talk to our district. The governor's monthly letter, an article in the Rotarian magazine, the district website, club visits, and polite speeches for special occasions. Sometimes the messages moved people into action. Sometimes they didn't. But at least those types of communications were easy to organize. Today, we communicate constantly and in the most different ways. Instead of words, many people communicate by pictures on Facebook or Instagram, or by a new world called memes in Snapchat. We have a completely different language online, and a beautifully composed message in a letter might be a boring waste of time on Twitter now. The good news is you need not communicate alone. Enlarge or start your communications team in your district. You might need one person who excels in Facebook, another on Twitter, and a third on Instagram. Find people who speak those like different languages and take advantage of the creative skills we unite here in Rotary, especially with the young people and with women. Offer a three-year term. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Offer a three-year term for those positions and the freedom to choose the means and the strategy, regardless of the governor in charge. In my district, we formed a communications group of six media experts and included the three governors, past, present, and elect. The group uses WhatsApp and have all equal rights. No need to start from scratch every year. Ask your successor to continue what you have started, as only the theme changes yearly, not the rotary message. The next step is to focus on message. Set up a communications plan for the year to promote rotary's key messages. That's all the messages you're writing at the end of your sessions. Do it early in the year. And that means now, so your clubs can prepare and plan their input. Share your information with your clubs and the leadership in your district. Give the clubs the motivation to learn more. Give them the feeling to be heard and valued with their project. It's a two-way communication you want to initiate. And whatever you do, delegate, trust your fellow Rotarians, and encourage freedom of expression. Rotary is all about working together to achieve good. As to delivering a message effectively, I've learned two things. 
know your audience, and adapt the way to communicate. Not just what you say, but how, in which circumstances, or with which kind of action, even in which clothes. Planting a tree, getting dirty, having fun, can have much more impact than your best speech. Do you think about Rotary all the time? No? No. Oh. So stop people in their daily Rotary-less routine with a good story. A story that grabs their hearts. That story might be part of a speech. It might be a video. It might be just a picture. I always think of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. A story, a good story, has a problem, a way to a solution, and a call to action. And by the way, we are the dwarfs, not the prince. It is not about you or me on a picture cutting a ribbon at an opening. No. Let me tell you, in my experience, all the above can be handled with a little help from Rotarian friends. The hard part is striking that balance between what Rotary wants us to communicate and our own styles and comfort zones. I've been in your shoes, starting with my pets. I was so enthusiastic. I talked about our network of trust and all the opportunities to help create a better world. Did I communicate this effectively? Yes and no. As I learned later, for some, I was too enthusiastic, too international, too R.I. brainwashed. <laughs> for others, I was an inspiration to, act, to get active. And one of them sits here to be my district's next governor. Hello, Harry Bird, where are you? Over there, he's very critical. Besides my favorite dress, I think what people liked was I was what I said. In short, you translate the message of Rotary best by your own actions. Secondly, I was proud, I am proud to be a Rotarian. And you should be proud to be a leader chosen by your peers. And third, I have fun being in Rotary. I'm not only serving, I'm enjoying doing it, and it enriches my life. And you don't believe how life as a training leader is. It's wonderful. Now, in order to get a volunteer organization of 1.2 million leaders, and I say that really as a training leader, on focus, we learned this week about the four priorities of our new action plan. I think we all realize by now that this is a wonderful instrument to test our plans and our communication. We want to increase our impact by solving problems with our project, expand our reach by activating and inspiring our members and the people who work with us. We want to enhance engagement by understanding others and their motivation. And we want to increase our ability to, ad ability to adapt by being both inventive and resilient. It is your job as a link between the clubs and the world to communicate that. But let's be honest. None of us agrees with every suggestion from Rotary International. We know our clubs and our national Rotary culture. We all have life experiences that inform our ideas and the way we express them. We cannot be streamlined into a perfect rot rotary communication concept.
But is this really true? President-elect Tolger has stated many times, being in leadership means we have a special obligation to act in Rotary's interest. And this means taking a wider perspective and weaving the work of many different people and cultures together in a meaningful and effective way. So, be yourself and communicate in different ways. But do communicate those four priorities which are essential to our long-term strategy for a thriving Rotary today and tomorrow. Your club visits are an opportunity to educate members about the action plan as an instrument of guidance. Social media is filled with opportunities. Every conversation you have with a Rotarian is another opportunity. And as the strategic plan continues to roll out next year, share information and updates and explain what the four priorities mean to your district, yours. Dear friends, this week has enriched us all as Rotarians and human beings. Now, be a loaded battery and beam the energy of this assembly to the Rotarians in your district. Communicate with a strategy and with a smile. Be a rot rotary megaphone and let the world know that Rotarians are people of action with a game-changing set of human values. Thank you and Godspeed.